and I did lose this game, but I had a great attack going, and I just missed the move. Granted, you know, it's a fairly fast game. I was down to my last two or three minutes, and for me, that's always kind of, kind of panic time when I'm down to a couple minutes. But anyway, I did find the right move here. We're on move uh, uh, 17, and you can see I've got, I think, a pretty decent attack going. The bishop on b3, he is hitting f7, which is always nice. That pawn is pretty much dead in the water there. And then the rook can't do much either because the king's on g8. And I did find some good moves. <laughs> Yeah, I would say that certainly is a candidate. Uh, can sneak in there, but I don't think fast enough. Though. But my yeah. my my fear about that is that the the knight suddenly kind of becomes active. I don't know. I would play uh, queen h5. Queen h5. Oh, there you go. And that is what I did. Yeah. Okay, that's no good. Yeah, and uh, and that's a good move. Okay. Um, one of the concepts that one of the teachers I've had along the way, she was always emphasizing find the intersection. What's the intersection in this particular position? F7. The bishop and the queen and the rook all meet on F7. So if we can find a way uh, to just add pressure to that, um, and not to mention g7 is a pretty good one too and the threat of course is queen g6 because the pawn can't do anything he's pinned what, the, queen g6 and queen g7 it's over yes. so what did he do uh, okay he blocks the bishop actually it wasn't the best move on his part and my, my mistake comes down the line <clears throat> Why don't you take with the queen on h6 right away? Yeah, I think that you're probably, oops. All right, hold on. Sorry. I think your your intuition is correct. Because I mean F7 started yeah, three it, times. Yeah, if you take with the uh, it's not letting, four times. And it's if you not, take with part of the only move is to take with the part of, with the knight on F6, right? And then you take the uh, Yeah, I apologize. Because we're learning here, I can't just move a piece to some you know, to try something because we're reviewing an actual game. Oh click on analysis. Oh, there you go. Click on analysis for it. There you go. All right. See that on. There you go. Now, now you can go ahead and move it. All right. That is, that is a good response to bishop e6. And then it's probably going to, if it's on the internet, you can click on stockfish and it'll tell you what the best moves are. To, okay. To do Up here? Yeah, there's a, there's a button. For clicking. Right here? Maybe that. Uh, no, no, it's, yeah, it's thinking. There. It's thinking now. Yeah. Beautiful. All right. I've seen some of the international masters, you know, do that. Now they're just pointing at G7. Yeah. yeah, the beautiful thing is that, yeah, that bishop would like to pick the bishop on B3, but he really doesn't have time. Uh, how does he stop this? Knight takes F6. Right. Be patient, guys. We're, we're learning here. All right. Uh, oh, wow. It's still made. It's showing made before. Wow. Just take the pawns. Yeah. Slice out. That's eight and three. He goes here and, and it seems yeah. The only move is night. Yeah, this this looks pretty strong now, doesn't it? <laughs> So, 
And this is why I thought it was worth bringing up because I, I uh, missed. Okay, I, I, I was doing, I, he made a big mistake when he moved the bishop and I made a big mistake taking it. All right, I want to go a little further to another position. Uh, let's see, hold on. White's still winning. <laughs> yeah, all right. I don't want to take a lot of time to do oh all my this. Gosh. Wow. And Queen H5 continually pops up as the best move. It's pinning the knight. Uh, Hold on one second. I think this is where I want to. All right, here's where I blew it. I'm winning. I'm winning big, actually. But I, but I blew it. That, that pawn on F7 just looks beautiful, doesn't it? Well, the arrow's obviously so telling why you. Queen H5 work? Queen H5 does work. Why? Uh, well, I think for one thing, it pins because the knight. Yeah, but because after that, you can play bishop uh, f5, f6. Right. Because the knight is and big the, big the knight big. can't touch it. Oh, because yeah. hitting the knight. Yeah. Okay. Whereas I, I just couldn't resist the temptation to hit him right now. Oh. But you can see how it goes but equal. Oh, it goes equal? Yeah, we're about equal yeah, now. Prior to this move, mm -hmm. it's yeah. killing. It's, yeah. Yeah, just, it's, it's and, I, and, and then this move. So brought it to equal. Ugh. Wow. So he takes. I mean, this this looks like it ought to be pretty good. Yeah, it should be. But. Now, why don't you play? Oh, yeah. yeah that's right. oh, because he takes and then he can protect on it. Because the queen's still yeah. helping yeah. out of D7. Yeah. yeah, and all of a sudden. Uh, it feels black, black hat. and black, black. wow. Yeah, so that's a bad move, actually. And at this point, I kind of, because again, my time is like under a minute, I think. Yeah. So I elected to kind of bail out here. But the difference is the B pawn that he took with the bishop earlier, way earlier. That pawn ends up being the difference. Three against two on the queen side, and uh, he had all the time in the world, and I didn't have very much. So that's really all I had to say about that game.